morning, friends. It's our last day of Compassion Camp, and it's been a really great week with you all. I'm feeling really overwhelmed with joy that we got to spend such a wonderful time together. Just really overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with a good feeling, but sometimes I feel overwhelmed with less comfortable feelings. When have you felt overwhelmed? When a job feels too big, I can feel overwhelmed. When I've made too many mistakes in a row, I feel overwhelmed. And when I feel that way, I often want to start over. I want a fresh start. I want the chance to try again and make everything right the second time. Have you ever had the opportunity to start over on a project that was overwhelming? Have you ever wanted to take a break and rest before trying again? When have you wanted a fresh start? Fresh starts feel good. When you have a fresh start, you feel hopeful about the next step. Imagine how great it feels when you clean up your room. You can see all your things and where they belong. And you can play on an empty floor. An empty floor can feel peaceful. Sometimes, I feel overwhelmed when something is not fair or just. Injustice can be overwhelming. Imagine a rule in your classroom that favored some of your friends, but didn't help you to succeed. How would you feel if your teacher changed the rule so that all of you could succeed in your own ways? Would you feel relieved? When people do not have what they need or they're treated badly, I feel frustrated and sad. And those times I pray for justice. I pray for things to be made right. We all need compassion. In today's Bible story, we're going to learn about how God loves fresh starts. God loves giving people new chances to try again or to rest. In fact, when God shared the laws with Moses, God included something very special so everyone would have a fresh start every once in a while. As we prepare to learn more about fresh starts, let's begin with today's compassion prayer. Remember, place one hand on your head and one hand on your heart. And we're doing this because compassion happens in our brains but we feel it in our hearts. So pray with me. Joyful spirit, your loving hands are always creating freedom, release, and fresh starts. Help us do the same today by caring for all living things with gentleness and care. Open us to humbly receive that same care ourselves. Make our hearts smile and our actions sing with your promise of abundance toward the whole world. Amen. Today's Bible story is from the book of Leviticus. It's about God's Jubilee. The people of Israel journeyed through the vast wilderness for many years. Finally, they arrived at Mount Sinai where they rested. God gave instructions to their leader Moses for their life together in this new land. And these were the things that God said. In this land, we will practice Sabbath together. This will happen not only on the seventh day, but also on the seventh year. For six years, we will do our regular work and plant seeds. We'll grow, prune, and harvest fruits. But in the seventh year, we'll let the land rest. Even the land needs peace and quiet. Everyone will be able to harvest and eat whatever the land gives us in that seventh year. In the 50th year, we will celebrate Jubilee together. This will be like the Sabbath every seven years where we will let the land rest. It will be a fresh start 
for the whole community, the land and the people, and everyone will go to their own homes and be together in joy. It is a holy time and we will be fed and nourished by whatever the land gives us. And this time, we will respond with justice by giving fresh starts. This means that we will be fair and honest to one another. We will take care of those who are sick, alone, old, or need help. We will welcome people who are from different countries and they will be like our family. We will work for people's freedom. We will all work together to help everyone rest and rejoice in God's abundance. I will bless the land during this year so you do not have to work the land. I promise we will all be fed and nourished by the land's gifts. This is actually the 50th year of our diocese. So we are having a year of Jubilee as well and you may have heard about that. So as you go about the last day's activities for Compassion Camp today, I want you to think about this story. And I wonder how you can show compassion for all of God's creation today. I hope that you join us this afternoon at church for our Compassion Camp Challenge course. We'll be here from 3 to 6 p.m. You can come whenever it works for you. Make sure you wear your masks. And make sure you tune in tonight for our last bedtime story been a great week. Can't wait to see you all. Bye.